Project Veritas. You guys aren't familiar with their work. James O'Keefe runs it. Look them up. Project Veritas. V-E-R-I-T-A-S. They specialize in uh, undercover journalism, kind of hidden camera, gotcha stuff. Real good work, though. Investigative journalism. So, they have a whistleblower come out this week from the United States Postal Service. He's a mailman. And I believe he's from up in the Northeast somewhere. I want to say maybe Western New York. I'm not exactly sure. So anyways, he comes out and he calls James O'Keefe at Project Veritas and says, listen, I overheard my supervisor and other people that worked at the post office talking about backdating ballots. So if they came in on say November 4th and they had to be in by the 3rd they would re-stamp the envelope or make new envelopes I don't know re-stamp the envelope with November 3rd to get these uh, votes to qualify uh, the time restraints on when you have to have your ballot in so Project Veritas comes out with this report it's really it's pretty shocking you have to go watch it so the Washington Post and TMZ write these total smear papers the following day saying that this whistleblower recanted his story and that he claims he made the whole thing up and the GOP paid him 130 grand or some GOP donor. So the Washington Post runs this piece saying that the, the guy admitted to lying that that didn't happen. Well, turns out the Washington Post piece was a total farce. That guy did not recant any bit of his story. And in fact, he went back to James O'Keefe and Project Veritas and they put out a new video, it's like half an hour long, specifically saying, I did not recant my story. Everything I said was true. I heard the supervisor in the post office saying that we need to backdate these envelopes with ballots in them so they count for the election totally illegal total uh meddling in the election election interference uh it, that's that's voter suppression right there because for every illegal vote or every one that they backdate that cancels out your vote you should be irate about that so you got to go check it out project veritas james o'keefe uh usps whistleblower it's an incredible story and you can't you just can't believe anything the mainstream media is saying. They're, what they're doing is they're trying to intimidate future whistleblowers from coming out. They even had uh, federal investigators come and meet with this guy. No attorney present. And it's all on tape. The guy recorded it. They're trying to pressure him into basically threatening him to recant his story. And the guy won't do it. So they're, they're trying to intimidate future whistleblowers and they need to be held accountable for this. It's totally illegal. And, you know, whistleblower protection was supposed to be the hallmark of uh, Obama's presidency. That amongst a ton of other things that he never accomplished. And, you know, the whistleblowers are more vulnerable now than or then because of Obama than they've ever been. So... We'll see what comes out of it. I know the Trump team is on it. And uh, good on Project Veritas for exposing this stuff.